Pennsylvania, New York. Thank you. How's it going? You can't stay blessed. we are off what is going on y'all welcome back to yet another video and introducing to you my very very first video log vlog or is it vlog yeah i think it's vlog <laughs> anywho this is video 001 team swartz vlog and before i begin i just want to say huge shout out to all the recruiters out there happy freaking new year in the military we do not go by calendar years we go by fiscal years and that starts october 1st and ends september of the following year so with that being said happy freaking new year this is going to be a great and phenomenal year i'm actually headed out to whitestone armory in queens new york to meet up with a couple of my battles sergeant first class williams and staff sergeant martinez we're part-time Joe Sergeants with the Army National Guard's Recruit Sustainment Program. And unlike active duty Army, Army Reserve, the Army National Guard do not have a future soldier program. We have what we call the Recruit Sustainment Program or RSP for short. And unlike the future soldier program, it is actually a regulated, structured course that our soldiers will attend one weekend a month in paid status to make over $200 based on the rank to prepare themselves mentally and physically for army basic training. So typically Saturday and Saturday will be the ACFT or the OPAT, right? The ACFT is the Army Combat Fitness Test and the OPAT is the Occupational Physical Assessment Test, which is a requirement to conduct and knock out before you ship out to army basic training. And Sundays would be motivational PT or physical training. And then for the rest of the day on both days, you will knock out classes throughout your different phases. So kind of like basic training, we have red, white, and blue phases. Red phase is a lot of mandatory classes, right? That are mandated by the National Guard Bureau, like suicide prevention, sharp training, the basic information that you have to memorize before leaving would be in, in, in your best interest. You know, the stationary positions, the facing movements, drill and ceremony, all that good stuff, right? The basics. Then white face is pretty much things that you'll experience in army basic training, but a lot more watered down. And with that being said, your last and final phase of RSP is your blue phase, where we discuss and share with you what to expect at army basic training, what to pack, what to bring, you know, what to expect on the day that you ship, how you get there, so on and so forth. And we have our battle handoffs. The soldiers that completed AIT or OSUT and are fully MOS qualified, MOS is your military occupation specialty, your job skill essentially. And they talk about their experience at the training site. So instead of me saying how my basic training experience was in 2001 or my Joe Sergeant Academy experience in 2020, you're getting it straight from the horse's mouth, like in the last 30 days, give or take, right? 
So this happens, again, one weekend per month, right? And uh, so anyway, going back to what I was saying, I'm headed out to Whitestone to help out a couple of my battles. We got Sergeant First Class uh, Mariano and Staff Sergeant Garcia who are preparing themselves for the United States Army Drill Sergeant Academy. So we're going to be helping them with the module pitches because when you get to the Drill Sergeant Academy, you already have to know the top three, which is the position of attention, positions while at the halt, and the salute, right? The hand salute. And you got to know these before you get there. So your boy's going to be testing them this morning and give them a taste of what it's going to be like at the academy. And we're also going to be going over PRT. Not so much as the primary instructor, but more so as the alternate or the assistant instructor. That's going to be a lot more challenging. So that's what we're going to be going over this morning. And then from there, I have an appointment. I'm going to meet up with one of my YouTube leads. Hopefully I'll turn into an applicant, but he's contemplating uh, be going special forces or as a Navy SEAL in the Navy. So we'll see if I can hook him up with that. If not, I will be directing him to the Navy instead and he can do that if that's what he chooses. But yeah, so that's what I'm about to go do now. So I'll see you on the other side. So we are here. And we are about to make it happen. All right, all right, all right. Looking sharp. Hell yeah. Oops. And by the way, if you have yet to subscribe to my channel, do so now. I greatly appreciate you. So, I don't know about y'all, but I am pumped up. <sighs> Let's do this. What's going on, bro? Hey, what's up, Adam? How you doing today? Good, good, how are you? Not bad, not bad. What are you doing here today? Uh-oh. Damn it. Sorry. <laughs> You're gonna get hit, so your demonstrator's gotta know what the hell is going on. Baby. And the, the demonstrator will be, like, counsel for that too. Like, they'll get yes. up, but you will also but you like we had a kid go home for being a bad um, demonstrator. Yep. Wow. So there is this unspoken rule of no, everything person. that we're going over, you are accountable to know. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. And you're not going to get to say, oh, I want to be the demonstrator for something I'm pitching because I know it. Mm -hmm. No, no. Like you're a demonstrator for whatever the, the guy in front of you is demonstrating. So you've got to know everything to some degree. So what's on your willing to say when I went through Drill sergeant school, everything had to be verbatim. There was no veering from it, it had to be verbatim. Mm -hmm. Now they let you kind of talk your way through it, as long as you hit the key points. Does that make sense? No. So last thing I'll say, Sergeant, so at the academy, one of the things that I noticed was there's a, the, the formula is, I do, we do, you do. So they're all, all the instructors here, they're always going to demonstrate first what correct looks like. Mm -hmm. They're going to collaborative do it with you. And then the next phase is you're gonna do it on your own. Okay. And that's what we're gonna do here for the training right. today is we'll do, excuse me, us the instructors will do, we'll collectively do, and then you will do it. That's it. When, what I mean is I know you need to know every single exercise, right? right. They no, give you, you, you one, know. right? No, you do need to know all of You yeah. need to know all the exercises. All 10, how, you know, how to know. Know. Yeah. You're not gonna pitch them. Yes. You're not gonna have to pitch them. That's the question. Yes. yes. No. But you need to know. But you need to know what's all next. the key points because, and as you go through like what the assistant instructor is going to do, the assistant instructor, they never stop talking. Yeah. Like that's because they're listening to him, and the minute you stop talking, like they start deducting points from you. Why? You're because not you're not stop. instructing. So let's say Sarge, you guys, Sarge, what's Bend your reach. Start position. Hey! 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 Hey!
primary because I'm conducting it. Right? I'm back here with the people actually doing it and as they're doing it like I'm walking through the But you have to say all of that. I thought that yeah. when you did that part you were like, you know it's somebody you have to be like, hey, make sure your two places are there. No. That's what I see. That's what we no. mean. That's, what that's, that, that's incorrect. So you're basically saying all of that as you're walking through the... As you're walking through the formation like you're saying like, if you see somebody driving... Like, and you're going like, getting graded. Yes. So he's getting graded on his so to put it mildly, there's two tests going on at the same exact time. He's doing one, two, three, and you're talking about what I he's doing. I just answered the point because you said as you're explaining it, and you see someone that's yeah, that's, outside the picture. Yeah. That's something, I don't know if it was your grade or somebody else's grade where he said, you have to like, act, even if no one's wrong, you just basically got five yeah, points and you have to make, you know, yes. fix this thing. Find yes. something. Yes. you're showing the instructor, you're doing your job, you're doing right. your job, and you have to make those corrections. So and you have to do the switch, you have to just do it. All right. 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 You ready? Yeah. Block letters. So it hit the, like between the, um, the rest of the system of the whole, and, and, you know, they, they use the word um, equally instead of even or vice versa. Like what happened if we just did the mix? I don't know. It did both mean the same thing. They're interchanging the word. Right. I'm sorry. Right. 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 They're interchanging and they're meaning the same thing. Don't give me credit. Okay. Yeah, because, because. But if it's, it means the same thing, but it's not quite as strong as the word that they're using, then they're going to but it's the same thing, it's like, you know, so again, like, that's the way that about either you drill short structure procedures, but like, some of them are like, hey, listen, it's kind of the first thing. And again, for my particular principle, it was, if the word that you're saying is interchangeable, mm -hmm. right, um, like, adjust and change, let's say, like, adjust your way, or like, change your way to laser interlock, there you go, right, like, again, it's like, well, yeah, no, but again, it's like, there's, there's, 
they're similar enough that if you're communicating to the instructor mm -hmm. what the intent of the correct thing is, mm -hmm. then it just depends on the instructor. Some instructors are just sticklers, like my school instructor. Fucking guy was a savage, right? But he was really good at modules. And then you have some of those ones, they're not as good as modules, and they have a more person, like they look more. And again, there's a human element to all of this. The, all right. the intent of the school is not the fuck you The next question is going to be a name, explain, and have demonstrated that there's no practical workload is the position of attention. The position of attention is a key position for all stationary facing and march movements. The commencement decisions are. Pull in and attention. Pull in, pull in is a combined command. Attention is a perfect command we can share by. And the what? Pull in is a combined command. Attention is a perfect command we can share by. Squad, platoon, or demonstrator. I'm using the demonstrator as a perfect command and attention as a command of execution. When given, these commands are as follows. Pull in. Demonstrator, attention. Demonstrate, both. I will now use the tool to make the instruction. On the command of pull in or on the command of execution, attention, bring the heels together sharply on line. With the toes pulled out equally, permanent to 45 degrees. Keep the legs straight with the lock in the knees. Hold the body right with the hips level, chest lift and arch, and the shoulders square. Keep the head upright and face straight to the front with the chin drawn in so that the line of the head and neck is vertical. Curl the fingers so that the tip, the tip of your thumbs are alongside the touch of the first joint of the four fingers. Keep the fingers curled with the first joint of the, of the fingers touching the trousers. Remain silent and not move on this otherwise erect. Relax. Note. Enlisted soldiers assume this position when addressing non commissioned officers or when non commissioned officers are addressed now. as I was. No. And this is so just assume this position when it doesn't seem awful. I have a question for you. What position should be in the same zone? I mean, you, you guys said when, whenever we say pull in attention, you need some set attention, but I don't know for When you, when you said you relax, you weren't in the position of attention. I was. When you did command and relax, you um, weren't in the position of attention. Right. And it was uh, like a half ass looking posi uh, position of attention, to make sure you're half position of attention. Good yeah. shot. Sorry, you've missed too many pertinent points, so we're not going to miss second time. You know it, and you're yeah. nervous, and you yeah. can hear it in your voice. You got about one minute. I was nervous too, but you got to take the phone. So, it, 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 and, and I can go back to in that no, one minute. You literally you go back to what? No, like 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 my notes or no, or no. You want to know? If you got your notes in your pocket and you never even touched them, you're going home. Yeah. You, you're going to the house. Yeah. Me. Like yeah. if you're studying in the hallway prior to going in to do it, you're going to the house. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. Like, like I was stuck on the head, right? I could stop for a second, walk around like this. That's a second. That is 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 The next position which I will aim, explain, have demonstrated, which we will conduct practical work on is the position of attention. The position of attention is a key position for stationary facing and marching movements. The commands for this position are fall in and attention. Fall in is a combined command. Attention is a two-part command when preceded by preparatory commands such as squad, platoon, or demonstrator. I will use demonstrator, demonstrator as a preparatory command and attention as a command of execution. When given, the commands are as follows. Fall in, demonstrate, attention. Demonstrate, hooks. I will use a clock to method of construction. On the command fall in or on the command of execution, attention of demonstrator, attention, bring the heels together, sharpen your line. Toes pointed out equally, forming a 45 degree angle. Rest the weight of the body equally on, the, on, the, on both the heels and balls of the feet. Keep the legs straight without locking the knees. Hold the body erect, hips level, chest lift and arch, shoulders square. Keep the head erect, face straight on with, with the chin drawn in so that the head and neck remain vertical. Let the arms hang straight without stiffness. Curl the fingers. 
curl the fingers so that the first joint, curl the fingers so they are alongside and touching the first joint of the four fingers. Bring the thumbs into the trousers and the seams, touch it. No, enlisted soldiers assume this position when addressing officers, or officers assume this position when addressing officers of superior men. At normal cadence, at normal cadence, the commands are as follows. Falling, demonstrate, attention, relax. What are your questions when pertaining to this position when executed at normal cadence or using the top to method of instruction? No questions at this time. Demonstrate attention. You will not be my assistant instructor. Paula. You feel to you feel to state all pertinent points. You will not be using that. What's for that? No, tell me. I need to. Okay. But tell me something. Oh, like it's fine. It's not, it's not. I don't know the trousers line, so I just. Oh, that, that, <laughs> yeah. I just. 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 I you guys definitely know what the fuck this should, should sound like. You know, so it's like, fuck, you know, you know. Two things to share with you, mm -hmm. right? You know the phrase, training to fight? Mm -hmm. I would go to Fort Hamilton, or to the park, and I'm the only one in the field, mm -hmm. and I would grab my phone, and I would record myself, mm -hmm. and I would do it as if I was at the academy. Mm -hmm. Sounding off, with not having too many people watching me, right? Because right? <laughs> <laughs> I look crazy. And I'd be walking back and forth, like, like the next position, which I wouldn't able to explain, have them you know what I mean? And I would do it that way, practicing like I would really be doing it. Mm -hmm. Versus sitting in the car and you're right, like, right. record yourself. Like one of the ways that I would <clears throat> All right, so it, uh, the appointment actually went really well. Um, he just left not too long ago. So we're going to continue the process, get him pre-qualified, and by then solidify his plan of action, whether that is to continue with the Army National Guard or to go active duty with the regular Army. So I'm happy with everyone he chooses, but uh, I think he sees that the Guard may be a better fit for him right now based on his goals, but time will tell. I mean, he could go for either option based on his goals, but he has to figure out his, I think he still has to solidify his why and what is more important to him. So, Time will tell. All right, all right, all right. All right, so today, to wrap everything up, went really, really well. Definitely not a typical recruiting day for me. So it wasn't exactly like the behind the scenes of a normal recruiting day for me, but it went rather well. It was a lot of windshield time. Whew, man, was there a lot of traffic. Man, I hate New York City for that, but you know, it is what it is. So the drill sergeant time this morning, the training and preparation for Staff Sergeant Garcia and Sergeant First Class Mariano had a rough start, but uh, they know what they're doing. It's just performing under pressure, whole different animal. But with the tips, tricks, and insights that myself, Sergeant First Class Williams, and Staff Sergeant Martinez share with them, I am confident that they're going to do great at the drill sergeant academy when they leave. But with that being said, the appointment that, that I had today, who I thought was a YouTube lead, was actually an Instagram lead who was a referral from a prior soldier that I enlisted. So uh, nonetheless, the, the appointment way, went way better than I had originally anticipated. So I'll definitely get, keep you in the loop on whether or not he continues to go. I actually forgot to film some of it for the behind the scenes portion of the vlog. But uh, yeah, so he's excited. I'm excited. We're going to meet up next Thursday, get the ball rolling, and we're going to take things from there. But let me know in the comment section. Let me know like how you feel about this vlog, if I should continue the vlog, but understand that it's behind the scenes. And I feel like at this point, between Instagram and YouTube, with the following that I have, that people are starting to give an F about me to know or want to know more about me as an individual and you know, see what the behind the scenes is like and give you an insider look of what recruiting is like and all that. 
but future videos will definitely have a, a more of a value-based message, not just behind the scenes and this is my day and kind of like a journal, right? Today, I did some drill sergeant. No, I'm going to give you, continue to give you value-based content, but in the form of vlogging. So with my new position here as a recruiter, in-person recruiter, I'm going to have less time at home like this to film videos. So this is one way of me still being able to deliver the content that I want and to create the videos that you all want me to do and to deliver for you. So I'm gonna test this out for a little while. So let me know, honestly, what your honest thoughts are on the vlog, if you think I should keep it going, if you have any tips, tricks, or ideas that you would like me to cover in the future, let me know, it is greatly appreciated. And if you made it this far into the video, <laughs> not only should you like it, but I want you to put a hashtag Team Swartz Vlog in the comment section, letting me know that you are my ride or die, made it this far into the video. So if you put a hashtag Team Swartz, I'm gonna assume that you just did that because that's what I normally say. But if you put hashtag Team Swartz Vlog, I'm gonna know that you are my real ride or die, made it through the entire vlog of Team Swartz, the very first one. So I'm pretty sure this is gonna be rough around the edges, not that exciting, but I appreciate you making it this far into the video. Know that I love your attention. I love helping y'all out and that's why I'm here. And I'm moving on to not so much bigger and better things, but uh, I'm back as a full-time recruiter. So if you are in the New York City area, Long Island, Yonkers area, let me know. I'd be more than happy to help you out. I am located in Midtown Manhattan, but with my experience as a virtual recruiter, we could do a lot of this stuff remotely. <laughs> Hell yeah. See you in the next video.